DSM Living with Wendy Wen, Melanie Hall, and Sharon Rooney. Hello and welcome to DSM Living. I'm Melanie Hall and we have a lot of ground to cover today and you're not going to want to miss a second of it. Coming up, we're going to check out the Des Moines Playhouse's production of Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, which truly captures what it's like to be a kid with a little sibling. Are you embarking on a home remodeling project? Well, you're going to want to check out this home transformation done by Modern Touches. It's sleek, chic, and totally unique. Coming up on DSM Living, I'll show you how to make skinny shrimp scampi. It's time for your furnace to step up, so go ahead and step on in to the Home Depot. Coming up, we're heading to a home in Urbandale that was remodeled by KC Handyman Service. We're at West End Architectural Salvage to do our craft project today, so we are going to make a Scrabble picture frame. David, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. It's humor, it's adventure, and a happy ending. What more can you ask for? Can you tell us a little bit about the story? Absolutely. Uh, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing deals with Peter Hatcher, who feels like a fourth grade nothing. He feels overshadowed by his little brother, Fudge, who's always getting in his way. What I love about Tales of Fourth Grade Nothing is it's something anyone can relate to. Sure. No matter where you are in your life, there's those days when you just feel like a nothing. One of my favorite lines in the show is Peter introduces his mom and he says, this is my mom, and sometimes we get along, and sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay. And I think that's a message that it's okay if you don't get along with everyone all the time. Mm -hmm. But they're there for us, and at the end of the day, we need to remember that they're there for us. That's what family is all about, right? Absolutely. David, well, I know a lot about family life. I've got three kiddos at home, and my two little girls, they like to play dress up. And we've got Excellent. some some dress up clothes behind us, but these aren't kid sizes. So they what's are not, going no. On? I, you know, I when I was casting the show, I really didn't want to deal with four three-year-olds in the show. So I have an eight-year-old playing Fudge, the three, the main three-year-old okay. who's on stage quite a bit. Yeah. But then Fudge has a birthday party with three of his friends who are around his age. And so I decided to cast 20 and 30-year-olds in those roles. And we realized that when a lot of times when children play dress up, they're just oversized clothes that belong to someone else in the family. So they'll wear sweatpants underneath their princess dress. They'll wear a t-shirt underneath their pirate costume. So this is kind of the look we're going for. What was the rehearsal process like for you? Oh, tons of fun. Mm -hmm. Tons of fun. Uh, we have several children in the show, many of whom are making their stage debut. And I think it's really important when you're working with new actors to really build that trust between scene partners. And so we start every rehearsal with a game. It's a way to get people to, to bond. It's a lot easier to act with your friends than it is strangers. And you have kind of a long history with the Playhouse. I do. I started working at, I started volunteering at the Playhouse when I was about nine, which is the the age of three of our children in the show, and in the Goldman, and went away to school in Chicago, came back, and now directing at the Playhouse. And to be able to direct in the space that really originated my passion for theater is, is so exciting, and I'm really incredibly fortunate to be, to be in this situation. Let's okay. put it on. Let's I'll just do this. <laughs> now, Peter, you play Mr. Hatcher, mm -hmm. and according to Mrs. Hatcher, you don't know very much about raising and caring for kids or <laughs> cooking a meal. So, so what was it like to prepare for this kind of role? Well, it was it was a fun process. Uh, I have three girls, so I kind of know what it's like to be a dad. Mm. But but getting into this role, being able to kind of be that third kid and, and not have to have a whole lot of responsibility and be laid back and let mom take care of everything was a lot of fun. Well, you said you have three girls and you have kind of a special connection with this performance too, right? I do. So tell us about that. I do. My daughter, Caitlin, is uh, nine years old and she plays Sheila. Tubman in the show so we get to perform together this is her first show so it's it's kind of neat that we have that connection of having our first her first show together that's awesome Kevin fourth grade was probably a long time ago for you <laughs> and for me it's hard to remember that <laughs> a little far farther back. for me yeah. but I have to ask did you ever feel like a fourth grade nothing did you ever feel like that yeah 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 well tell us about some, an embarrassing experience or something I, that you had in oh, elementary that we all can laugh at <laughs> I, I did fall for the old stick your tongue to the flagpole oh, thing in the middle of winter. Did. Did. Awesome. I, did. I love it. I we did. got that out of us. Well, you always do an amazing job with this. Well, set. thank you. So let's thank talk you. about what's going on here. We've got a chunk of Central Park right here. And that rock wall. Looks that a rock crazy. wall. That rock wall. We reused the rocks we made for uh, the hundred dresses mm -hmm. out of styrofoam. We repainted them a little bit and we're reusing them in this show. And this gentleman right here, Mark Pollan, 
is our master stonemason. Hey, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing an excellent job. Thank you. He, he, he did all the rocks for us in uh, 100 dresses, and he's doing them again for this show. What would you say was the biggest challenge with the set? The biggest challenge with the set was converting the kitchen table into a dentist chair. Ooh, let's talk about the table. Yes. I see you going <laughs> let me, on let, right me, here. let me show you this All right, over here. Let's go down here. So Kevin, this table transforms, huh? This tra table transforms from a kitchen table. We have to go to the dentist's office. So we needed a dentist chair. So we, to do that, that chunk flips down, that chunk flips up, dentist chair. That is very cool. <laughs> I love it. And what do you think the recommended age for this play is? We say age is five and up. Now it's probably first or second grade where the kids are reading the Judy Bloom books, but really um, kids five and up are going to enjoy the show. Sounds good. And how can people get tickets? Well, they can give us a call at 515-277-6261. They can, of course, come here to the Playhouse, or they can go online to dmplayhouse.com. You get to pick your seats online. Great. Thanks so much, Leanne. You're welcome. Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind-the-scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. Lucas, when an addition is added, there are so many changes that take place both outside the home and inside the home. And Modern Touches did an amazing job with this addition. It looks incredibly seamless. So tell me about this project. Well, that's actually our ultimate goal is when we do an addition, we want to make sure that it all flows well together. So Lucas, this is the addition. This is the new part of the home. I'm a little confused as to kind of what took place structurally. Right. Um, the actual back wall of the home was about right where you're standing. Right here. So this was the kitchen. Okay. Um, so we've practically doubled the, the, the actual kitchen space. So the dining room area over there is brand new too? It is all new and it wraps all the way from this back corner of the home all the way around to the end and all the way back to the front. Perfect. Now, Murray, I know you helped a lot with the selection process, and one of my favorite things in this kitchen is the backsplash and this piece of art right here. So tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I worked with the homeowner one-on-one, um, -on -one, and we went through an entire selection process from selecting the wood floor to complement the countertops, but also one of the most important features to the client was the backsplash. And it was one of the last details, but we wanted to come up with something that was timeless and elegant. And so this design was a great focal point in the kitchen where it's not busy, but yet it provides um, just a really nice feature. Now, I know the homeowner kind of had a specific design in mind with the island, is that correct? Yeah, once we actually set the cabinetry, um, we wanted to make sure that the island was very functional, but yet didn't take up too much space. Um, so with the prep sink area in mind, you know, it's close to other appliances that you may um, view as handy, so you can set, you know, um, pans out on this particular space and work diligently. However, we also wanted to create this other space for um, potential eating area as well. And so what was the collaboration process like? You know, it was a lot of fun. Um, there's numerous meetings involved, especially with um, a project of this magnitude. And um, I did work one-on-one -on -one with the homeowner. And my goal was to really um, not just provide interior guidance, but also really understand um, her taste and style. There are homeowners that may have a vision in mind, but then there are other homeowners that absolutely do not know where to even begin. Mm -hmm. So I've um, embedded a process with the Modern Touches that really helps the homeowners see everything visually. Really seeing the items and being able to hold them and see the different colors um, that you want to install in your master bath or kitchen is really essential to the process. Now, Marie, this master bath is brand new space too, correct? Absolutely, it is. And you worked with the homeowner to kind of come up with some features in this master bath. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I uh, worked with the homeowner, um, especially on the vanity. She wanted a makeup station, mm -hmm. which you can see the offset. Doesn't every woman want that? <laughs> they do, they do. And the design had to be very precise. Also, she wanted to incorporate the rustic look, which um, we have here, knotty alder cabinets with a cappuccino stain. Beautiful. But it also provides a modern flair as well, yes. as you have mentioned with the backsplash. And I love the art niches too. When we collaborate with the granite, we like to use it um, just from a usability standpoint but we also incorporate it as shelving in the showers sure. um, for cleanability, but it's also an accent from an art feature. So in the niches, it works perfectly, um, obviously for the countertop, but also as soap shelves and a corner bench in the master shower. Well, you talked a little bit about the shower and I got a sneak peek of it. I always said, when I, when I saw it, it's chic, it's sleek, and totally unique is what I thought about <laughs> when I looked at that shower. 
Lucas and Marie, I know the homeowners are so pleased with their new space. So if people are looking at doing a home transformation kitchen, bathroom, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can go to our website at moderntouches.com and they can also reach us at 745-6853. Sounds good. Thanks, Lucas. Thanks. If you're looking for a simple seafood option this week, I've got a really easy shrimp scampi recipe for you. I'm Whitney with Fairway and Sensible Health. Let's get cooking. We're gonna start by mincing about three cloves of garlic. So always mince your garlic by flattening it out with the flat side of your knife and then peeling the skin off. So there are two ways to mince garlic. You can either run your knife through it both ways like I'm doing here, or you can take the flat side and really smash it down into your cutting board and then mince it. I have already peeled and de-veined about three quarters of a pound of raw shrimp. And it's really important to use raw in this recipe um, because pre-cooked shrimp can really get overcooked really quickly and then get kind of tough. So it is worth the extra effort to peel it and then de-vein it. So we're gonna go over to the stove and I have all my ingredients ready over there because this dish comes together really quickly and you wanna make sure you don't overcook the shrimp. We're gonna serve our scampi over whole wheat spaghetti, which is how I've made it a little bit healthier for you. So I've already got a pot of boiling water and we're just gonna drop our pasta and then start sauteing our shrimp and it should all be ready at about the same time. Over medium heat, we're gonna heat about two tablespoons of oil and add our minced garlic. Now you wanna let this cook until the garlic just starts to turn brown, and then we'll add our shrimp. Okay, so add your shrimp, and we're just gonna stir fry this for about five minutes until the shrimp turns a nice pink color. And if your shrimp starts to make a really tight O shape, that means that it's overcooked. So you always wanna cook your shrimp until it makes a slight C. So a really easy way to remember it, C for cooked, O for overcooked. We're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. And we're also gonna add some red pepper flakes. If you don't like very much spice, you can leave this out. But I really like it, it adds a little bit of oomph to our pasta. So our shrimp is cooked through. It's a nice opaque color and you can see the seas. But we wanna remove that while we make our sauce. That way our shrimp doesn't get overcooked. So I'm just gonna use a slotted spoon and take this out and set it aside. So to make our sauce, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of butter and I really like the Lando Lakes butter with canola oil because it tastes like butter, but it's got the heart healthy fats of canola oil. And since we've also used oil to saute our shrimp, we've really increased those heart healthy fats. So we're gonna let this simmer for two to three minutes. And if we have any bits that stick to the pan, we can add some low sodium vegetable broth to deglaze our pan. So our sauce has thickened. We're gonna add our shrimp back in our pan and take it off the heat while we drain our pasta. All the ingredients for our shrimp scampi are done. We're just gonna combine it all in a big pasta bowl and then it's ready to serve. We're gonna put a sprinkle of shredded Parmesan cheese, a little bit of grated lemon zest, and you don't wanna get down to the white part because that part is very bitter. A squeeze of fresh lemon juice to brighten up the flavors. And lastly, just some fresh parsley. This healthier shrimp scampi recipe is a great alternative for a meatless weeknight meal or if you're looking to just experiment with seafood. If you want the full recipe, you can visit fairway.com. And remember, the most important ingredient in any recipe is family. Find us online at dsmliving.com to watch this week's episode, see other videos, and check out what's coming up on future shows. Hi, I'm Ron the Car Guy from Westside Auto Pros. Here's your trivia question of the week. Stay tuned for the answer when we come back. No one in Iowa has more fellowship-trained orthopedic specialists than Iowa Ortho. With specialists in seven areas of expertise, no matter what your aches and pains, Iowa Ortho is ready to help. With services such as MRI, physical therapy, and post-surgical support combined with 17 locations in central Iowa and a walk-in clinic with urgent care for every member of the family, it's no wonder that Iowa Ortho is considered the expert for orthopedic care in Iowa. For the best health care, ask for Iowa Ortho. Visit us at iowaortho.com. American Link, your source for coast-to-coast -coast inspiration, anytime, anyplace, with just one device. Discover a new generation of American-made businesses that commit to creating their products nationally from start to finish. 
Staying connected with the latest trends in home, fashion, and travel is easier than ever. American Link, bringing American made home. Download it from the App Store and subscribe today. Sometimes the difference between just buying new things in a beautiful home is a design plan, a signature piece, and a couple of small accents. At the mansion, we know you have good taste, but probably not the time or desire to execute your own vision. Our design team is waiting to help you transform your ideas into a beautiful and functional home. Whether it's one room or the whole house, we can work with your budget and exceed your expectations. Come see us on Facebook and see what our clients have to say about working with our design team. Or better yet, stop by the mansion and let us show you how we can help. The correct answer is C. Have car questions that need answers? Call Westside Auto Pros at 225-9090. Sometimes it's out with the old and in with the new, and this remodeling project done by KC Handyman provides such functionality to this room. Devin, talk to me about this remodel. They, there seems to be a lot of very unique features. Is there one that's particularly important? This was a pretty standard split level, uh, as you see a lot of in Des Moines, and they really made some minor tweaks to the floor plan that really made it function a lot better. Devin, can you tell me the difference between Kaufman Construction and KC Handyman? Kaufman Construction is a very detailed design build packaged approach and Casey Handyman we do everything on a time and material basis so we give you a time and material estimate and then we bill you for what it actually costs. So what is the process like doing a remodel with Casey Handyman? Um, well it really varies by project. Some of them you just give us up give us a call and you know we come out and do as little as a 15 minute repair or a few hours and and a project like this is a little bit uh, more detailed. We do a little more planning, but the, the idea is to keep the planning to a minimum uh, to reduce costs. And these homeowners really knew what they wanted, so we just kind of had to lay out a general plan, and then they worked with our handyman to make sure that it turned out exactly the way they wanted it. Steve, you must be absolutely thrilled with the final product of this remodel. We like the work that Kaufman Construction did with our project eight years ago and um, we wanted to use them again. We like their work. We've seen it in several different shows. Tell us about the floor plan changes that were made. Well, they weren't big changes but uh, one change was the functionality of the bar. You access the bar from the back side and there was a counter on the front side and there were no cupboards up above and so you had to go all the way around to the back side to access the sink and so we turned it completely around and now as you come in from the back door from the garage we have a place to hang coats and so now it's functionally better for us just to have a place to hang more coats and then we put the porcelain wood look floor into the uh, entryway and extended it over from the steps much easier to clean and keep clean, uh, especially during the winter months. So. Now did you use the bar before? Never. Do you use it now? Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like just a minor floor plan change can really make a dramatic difference. It, it did. We had the vision and Devin drew up some plans and um, this is what it came out and it, we're very pleased with. Overall, do you feel that Casey Handyman's work was just as much quality as Kaufman Construction? Oh, it's the same people doing the work. so. Yeah, it's the same quality. Well, if people want to get a hold of either Kaufman Construction or KC Handyman, how can they reach you, Devin? Uh, it's easiest to go to either website, kaufmanconstruction.com or kc-handyman.com. Great. Thanks, Devin. Thank you. Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind-the-scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. You hear that clunking, that fogging, that it just doesn't seem right sound. Well, you might need a new furnace. So we are here at the Home Depot with expert Bob Oliver of Bob Oliver Heating and Air. Bob, can you tell us about this whole process of, of getting a furnace here at the Home Depot? Yeah, it's just as easy when you're out shopping at the Home Depot. We have a good selection of heating and cooling here. And it's as easy as just coming into the store. We actually have a 1-800 number Home Depot, or you can get online and process a lead. What are the benefits of getting these things at the Home Depot? Well, the benefits is you really get a lot of consumer financing that you can't get anywhere else. And they're more compliant than a lot of heating companies that are out there to be competing with. 
Bob, tell me about your relationship with the Home Depot. Well, here at Bob Oliver, we actually partner up with the Home Depot to make sure every install is done perfect for every customer. It just seems like it's just way too easy. So I need a new furnace or I hear something going on. I come out to the Home Depot, I tell them at the service counter, and then they have you guys call me. That's exactly right. <laughs> Yep. That's pretty easy. It is easy. And then we all actually go through the Design Star system to show how we size the equipment okay. and how we go through and make it very economical so you can see all the money you're saving in your total investment. So we're going to put in the address. And then actually we can pull a satellite right over the home. We can see and make sure this is our home, show which facing area it has for the north, south, west. We can actually go through and see a graph on here and then pull in the house's information. We can make sure we have the right square footage that the assessor has. Then we're going to take the type of equipment the person has in their home already that's being replaced so we can find out an efficiency level that we've come from and where we're going to. Once we've had our equipment picked out, then we can come back over and print out a PDF of how much money we're going to save. So now our customer can know that they're saving that much money. Then we can get in and find out, well, what's the system cost? What kind of repairs would have been put towards that? And what kind of tax credits, rebates, or manufacturer's incentives are there to attribute towards the upfront cost? Once we get that, then we know the net system investment. And it really shows you that you're saving money even though you're paying for something. Once we've got all that, we can deliver that to our customer and then we're able to make a good decision with them. They can sit down and see all the facts that they needed to know to be able to make a good decision in today's economic world. So it will talk about what the best furnace is for my house. Correct. Sounds good. Well, Bob, if people want to get a hold of you, how can they contact you directly? They can contact us at BobOliverHeatingAndAir.com at 277-1696 or just look up your own Home Depot store nearest to your home. You can go on the net or go on the phone. You guys have just made it so simple. Thanks for that. All right. <laughs> Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind the scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. We're at West End Architectural Salvage to do our craft project today. Now I picked out a very basic project. It's something that's easy, simple to make, but it would make an adorable, cute gift. So we are gonna make a Scrabble picture frame. You just need a couple items. First of all, you need to get a photo, a picture frame, probably get your Scrabble game out, some glue, and tape. All right, so we chose the photo of Des Moines. And you can choose any photo you want. If you want a photo of your kids, grandparents, mom, dad, pets, whatever. We also printed it out in black and white. You can use color also. Black and white makes it pop a little bit more, but color is kind of a cute look too. So whatever you choose will be perfectly fine. After you get the photo picked out, you have to print the photo out. Once the photo is printed, you can go ahead and then select your mat and frame. And we are using a little bit bigger frame with a mat and that gives the picture more of an elegant look. Once you have the frame and mat selected, you can get your Scrabble game out and pick out your saying. We chose Des Moines Living. Um, any saying would be fine if you're taking a picture of your mom, you know, my hero, or um, I love you, whatever you want to put on the, the picture frame is, would be great. And then uh, the next step is to get some glue and the tape. Okay, so we have the picture ready to go. And I am going to put this on just like this. I'm going to lay it out first my saying to kind of see where it would look fine. And you can put the saying anywhere on the photo. If you want to put it in the corner or up above, I think that looks pretty good though. The Des Moines Living looks pretty good there. Now you want to choose, I'll scoot that down a little bit. You want to choose glue that is going to dry clearer because there's a chance that the glue could seep out underneath the Scrabble tiles. And you can get the Scrabble tiles from the Scrabble game, but also craft shops would have some sort of lettering that you'd be able to use too. So I think the trick to putting this on is to use just the right amount of glue. You don't want to use too much, but you don't want to use too little either. So just a couple little dabs would be perfect. And you can also make this really fun and make it like a Scrabble game. Um, unfortunately, we can't really do that with DSM Living, but if you had, had something, you could put the letters down or across or whatever you wanted to do. I'll put these little guys on here. And then once we get them on here, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to have them dry. 
So this is a very, very quick project and actually I think my kiddos at home would love to do this too. Pretty easy. Put it right on there, all right. Our last letter is on. So we're gonna take a look at this. I think that looks pretty good. Let's straighten them out a little bit while they're still drying. And then again, just take about 10 to 15 minutes to let it dry. All right, well, it looks like our letters have dried on the photo, so we will go ahead and pop them in the picture frame. So just turn the frame around. And again, I used a little bit of a, a thicker mat, so I think that will really make the picture pop. We'll just put it in here. Now, I think it would be a wise decision to put a little bit of tape on here to make sure the photo doesn't crinkle. So I'm just gonna tape the ends pretty gently. And maybe I'll put a couple pieces of tape also on the top and bottom to make sure the picture stays. The letters make the picture a little heavier in the frame, so adding some tape will give it some extra support. All right, now it's time to put the back on here. I am so excited to see this project, the completion. It's pretty simple. All my friends tell me I'm not crafty, but I tell them I think I'm pretty crafty and I can do stuff like this. You guys ready? Here we go, Des Moines Living. That looks great. I think I have the perfect spot for it in my office. I need to give a shout out to Rochelle who helped me with this project today. And if you have any do-it-yourself projects, please check us out on Facebook or let us know how this project turned out for you. Also, you need to come to West End Architectural Salvage. As you can see, they have a ton of cool, fun, exciting things for your home. So check them out. That's our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to get social with us on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. And don't forget, you look awesome today, so go check out Des Moines. Shop local and watch local. I'm Melanie Hall. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Host Apparel by Francesca's, located in Jordan Creek Mall in West Des Moines. Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind the scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. If you want to see your company or event on DSM Living, head over to our website and fill out a simple form or shoot us an email to info at dsmliving.com. Oh my <laughs> This is where I draw inspiration. <laughs> Job with this edition, it is so seamless. So tell me about this project. <laughs> Bobby, you're me. So tell me about this project. Well, what I can tell you is I can see Bobby out of the corner of my eye. It's driving me absolutely insane. And Come and you can pick your seats online. Thanks so much, Leanne. You're welcome. Okay. I just, it doesn't seem natural I'm talking to her. Know. You, <laughs> you add a direction. <laughs> right, nothing for ages five and up. <laughs> Sorry.